and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Rakdos omnipotence to kick off our throwback Thursday stream today. That's right, Thursdays from now until rotation, which we found out today is officially September 26th is whenever Throne of Eldraine will be released on Arena, and that will be the date that we'll have rotation. But from now until then, what, what we're doing here on Thursdays is we are building uh, decks based around rares and mythics that are going to be rotating out of standard that haven't been able to see much play. You know, maybe they're not so good, but they're like cool cards and we want to play them before they rotate out. So that's what we're doing here on these Thursdays. We've played a bunch of fun decks before. So if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you check out the playlist with all the throwback Thursday decks before. Uh, today, we're building around three cards that um, people left in uh, for requests in the on the YouTube channel in the comment section. So if you have uh, rares or mythics that are rotating out that you want me to build around, uh, leave a comment there on the YouTube channel, and I'll probably make it next next week. So we have three. We have fraying omnipotence. Whoops, that we're doing today. Then we also have precognitive uh, field or precognition field. Sorry, and then Vance's blasting cannons. Those are our three that we're doing today. Then we had a donation deck to finish out the day today. All right, so Fraying Omnipotence. This one was a tough one to build around. So let's take a look at this. So three black black for a sorcery. Each player loses half of their life. Then, bye Hawkeye. So each player loses half their life, discards half of the cards in their hand, and sacrifices half the creatures they control, and you round up each time. Okay, so we need it. I think the most important thing is we need that first part to really matter, that you're losing half of your life. So I think that that's, since we're like, you know, having our opponent lose half their life, we're in, we're going to need to be able to like finish them off quickly after that. So that's why I wanted to pair this with burn spells. So that's why that's the thinking here. Like if they're losing half their life, maybe we can get some extra burn spells and finish them off. So we have all the these red burn spells. We also got the Sovereign's Bites in here as well. Um, of course, if you discard half the cards in your hand, uh, you're either going to want a lot of extra cards that you can discard, or your hand being empty, so you know that so that that doesn't um, affect you very much. Um, our our deck can kind of go either way. You know, we have a lot of you know everything costs like one, two, or three, so like maybe our hand's empty, or our sword point diplomacy and risk factors could get us a lot of cards, and then we'll have some extra things to discard. And then, of course, sacrifice half the creatures you control. So you don't really want to be controlling creatures too much, um, although because then you'll have to be sacrificing them. So we don't have very many creatures. We just got the two wizards, Lava Runner and Pyromancer. So that's that's how I built this around. And kind of the reason why I chose to do this also is because this is a Throwback Thursday uh, deck. So this is, you know, it's a fun deck here. Um, and so I wanted to play Sword Point Diplomacy also because this is another cool card that's rotating out. And... I've had a couple of viewers talk about this card uh, recently. I've wanted to see it, so <clears throat> that's why I went. I uh, went this route also, is for sword point diplomacy. The other way I could see playing omnipotence, if we're still thinking like you know we want all the like the burn spells and everything to finish them off, um, so that the first part is good. You can also make the second part good of discarding half the cards in your hand if you're playing experimental frenzy, right? Because if you're playing frenzy, then you don't care about discarding the cards in your hand. So I thought about going that route also of just playing like four frenzies to go with fraying omnipotences um, as well. But instead, I'm going sword point diplomacy. So we, you know, frenzy's real good and everything. I wanted to shake it up, do something a little different here. Um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so that's that's what we got going on. That's what, so we have basically black red burn uh, with fraying omnipotence. So. Not sure how good this deck will be, but hopefully we get to at least cast Fraying Om Omnipotence. So let's play it through a league, see how it goes. Yeah, couldn't really fit Chandra in also. I, I like Chandra, but yeah, Chandra flashing back Sword Point Diplomacy is pretty cool. But <clears throat> would have had to like play Chandra over like Light at the Stage, I guess. There's just also a lot of times that Light of the Stage only costs one mana. And the deck already has a bunch of threes. Yeah, 
Yeah, Angrath. I kind of want to put Angrath in the main deck, but ended up just putting him in the sideboard. But yeah, Angrath is another good card for if they lose half of their life, discard half the cards. Angrath can then make them lose more life with the tick up and discard other cards as well. Well, I mean, I I have a, once again, I have a mono black control deck. It just doesn't have Nicol Bolas Dragon God because you need, um, you know, you need blue and red for that. So you need to be three colors or play like Chromatic Lantern or something like that. I'm not sure if. If that setup's really necessary for Nicol Bolas Dragon God. Well, while we know we're getting damage in, we're gonna get this haste creature going. My plan was just to wait with the lightning strike and cast cast risk factor first, but since I'm sure they're gonna have removal for Lava Runner here. Um, we're just going to get in that two points of damage while we can. Every point matters here with our deck. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna do it next turn. So it's like it's actually better for me not to cast Risk Factor here, so that Omnipotence does more damage. Ugh. That's a big creature. Oh wait, they sacrificed the creature. Yeah, right. <laughs> I forgot about that part there for a minute. I was just thinking the hand and the loss of life. Okay. We're kind of doing it. No, that exiles my risk factor. <laughs> At least I got rid of three lands also. Okay. We're still kind of doing it. We just need three more damage. Exiled another three lands. So Wizard's Lightning costs three mana. So I should be able to... Should want to keep having uh, the Wizard's Lightning up, so... Man. So one, two, three, four, five, six... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, we're done with 13 lands. Out of 22 cards. Dang. All right, well, hopefully this minus hits a whole bunch more lands. All will bow, I will return. Witness a moat of my power. Ah, uh, four spells. Uh, we're getting the the bad luck variants there with the Ashiok. Yeah, again, another bite on top. Yet again. So twice in a row we had a bite on top and then Ashiok, but Ashiok exiled it over. My schemes are never ending. Okay, 
Okay, none of those would have saved me. That's good. Uh... Alright. <laughs> Get rid of the calf nut. We're down to one. We're down to one. <laughs> oh, That's what Throwback Thursday is all about. Defiance is in fury. Let your weak minds crumble. Oh no. I have practiced against men. Hone your prowess. That means we don't get any redraws for like risk factor. Burn spell! Wow. We really did it. We really did it. <laughs> oh, that fraying omnipotence was clutch. Both times getting rid of that caffeinette. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> oh, that was pretty awesome. Alright, let's get some mangrass in here. Um, I guess I don't really have removal for Kefnet besides Omnipotence. So yeah, we don't really need any of these other cards. So to put in Angrath, maybe I just cut like these Wizards Lightnings. Would I rather have Wizards Lightning than Lava Runner? Yeah, risk factor is bad against Narset. Oh well. It's still just a really powerful card. I'm not going to take it out. We have a lot of ways to kill Narset. I wonder if I want to just take out, like... See, like, this always does damage. Lava Runner doesn't always do damage. No, I'll just take out the Wizard's Lightnings. Yeah, okay, if we play if I if we were both at one life there and like let's say I, I had the five mana still and I drew another fraying omnipotence, then we it rounds up, so we would both lose one life, so we'd both lose. And whenever both players lose at the same time, it's a tie. It's considered a draw. And and you uh you know, go to sideboarding and, and you it's still best two out of three. Uh you got you know, you have to win two two games. So you would just go to game two. So you could go to a game four. You know, like if we go to like game two and I win and then game three they win, then we'd go to game four. Can't really imagine I'm casting shock here. All right, do I want a shock stage? Not really. Because, you know, we may get two cards that we we're not able to play both of them. The past, I have just the trick for this. All right, we got a draw three. You know, Narset says that we're not supposed to be able to draw. Still got a draw three. I 
Don't take my fraying omnipotence. That card's too cool. Darn it. <laughs> What? Life gain land? That's cheating. Life gain's cheating. So they really like Narset sitting here. I should just strike Narset. schemes to attend to my intellect is without limit that thing just making me exile permanence over and over and over again i do not want to deal with that Really don't want any more dragon gods. Man, opponent's cheating again. In life gain. Hey, Candice. Thank you. Mono green elf ball Monday, fourth time slot. Okay. Best of one league with a deck tech. All right. Thank you so much, Candice. I'll get you down there. Took nine. They just took nine. Hmm. That is a pretty effective burn spell. The problem is, those are three good cards. All right, so obviously I'm not killing the Chandra at all. Do I just strike them right now, or do I just draw my card? Man, this is that two life they gained with their two life gain lands.
Bloodfell Caves is cheating. Swift, Swift, Water, Swift Water Cliffs is cheating. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> All right, taking two. Slow burn of Chandra. Hopefully we have the fast burn of burn spells. Getting a little warm in here. So they got three cards over there. It's like last game, we gotta do the final two points of damage. Let's see if we can do it. No. Get another draw here. Oh, looks like someone's getting a little sweaty. So they have a three turn clock. They can do seven next turn. Hooray! The wizard. All right, fraying omnipotence. Getting a game win. Frang omnip omnipotence, baby. That game one was all about that omnipotence, too. Even if we lose our next two matches, that was still definitely worth it for that, that game one. Uh, yes. Absolutely, Candice. You want me to do Sunday instead? I can do Sunday instead. Oh, okay. Awesome. Yeah, basically all slots are basically always open. It's pretty rare that I have a slot that's not open. Really, besides that, like just tomorrow's last slot is the only thing that's that I have a, a deck for. Cool, thanks, Boot. Yeah, we, we were talking about that one earlier. We were talking about that earlier. Um... A lot of good news for Historic, but also some bad news with the WoW cards. Do you want to bite? Because, yeah, somebody posted it in the in the Discord channel. I saw it there. Yeah, I think I'm just going to bite here. You know, like, next turn, maybe we draw a land, we can double spell with, like, get a surprise haster. All right, more blue-black. Control. Well, likely control. Awesome. All right, Rakdos Aggro, best of three on Sunday. All right, Lava Runner's gonna do damage here. Let's let's get it in there. They took the Fraying Omnipotence. They're too scared. It costs five mana. They're too scared of it. That's awesome. Good job, CWZ. Good job. Would you mind sending me that list, CWZ? Maybe I'll play it on stream. I think we're just risk factor in here. Yeah. 
Ah, so it's Grixis again. Hmm. Let's go bite. Bite stage. Let's see, I could... Yeah, I think bite stage. I want to cast this stage. The immortal Nicole Bolas will be your end. Yeah, that card's still annoying. Sit here and exile all this stuff all the time. Dang. That's a lot of lands. Time, planeswalker. <laughs> you have no weakness that I cannot exploit. Thief of Sanity. Uh oh. That's going to start getting a clock on us, these cards here. So, do I want to strike Knight of the Ebon Legion, which can kill me really quickly? I just keep going upstairs. I think we just go upstairs. So risk factor just uh, risk factor is an auto draw three. Diplomacy is like draw the crappy cards of the top three. Then obviously they can't pay. They can't pay three life for everything though. Hmm, that's a tough call. I don't. I'm not sure which one I'm supposed to do. Honestly, it's kind of a tough call. Yeah, you know, they're both just. Kind of the draw three. Good thing uh, the Ashino Pyromancer has unblockable haste damage attached. Conceivable. My schemes are never ending. <laughs> no, I don't I don't think there's any kind of algor algorithm like that, good brother, that determines if you're ahead you draw lands, if you're not, you don't draw lands kind of thing. <laughs> I don't think there's I haven't anything like that. So we do not want them to find Sovereign's Bite. That would be like the worst card for us to see from their side. Ah, so they had to read Diplomacy. And they did not go diplomacy. All right, is our opponent been bitten? 
Lose three life. They're at three. That was convenient. Had it the whole time. Easy win. My opponent was definitely not ahead or anything like that. All right, so they're playing uh, aggro Grixis. Grixis midrange. So does that still mean that I want Angrath like I want against Grixis control? Maybe not. Maybe not. Our deck's great. We'll just keep it. Hey, Matthew. Agrixis. That's what they're playing. <laughs> Agri Agrixis. <laughs> yeah, like this this deck that we're playing is a stressful deck to play because you're always like, oh, am I going to get there or not? I don't know. Uh... <laughs> it's always so close. really is a stressful one. Ugh. Sorry. All right. The stage can only be lit up once. Can't light it up multiple times. I'll just play that mountain over there next turn. Love it. That was a very good block for us with us having nothing. Our opponent, of course, doesn't really know that we have nothing. Yeah. Rampaging Ferocidon is not legal on Arena until September 4th. That's when their next update is, and they'll make it legal at that point. But it's not legal until then. Ow. Mm. Let's play the one in hand first. They already know about the one in hand also. I want them to have less information about everything whenever they make the next risk factor decision. So we're going to risk factor and then lightning strike for end step and then be able to untap and bite plus whatever comes up here, whatever happens. Okay, saw this young chocolate lab today, not just wanted to lean on me and just play with me and have me pet him. Uh New chocolate lab though. Should make you happy. But yeah, I can understand that. And there we go. Rakdos burn. 2-0, Arachdos Omnipotence. <laughs> it's, it's okay. Yeah, I scrolled up. We're good there. All right, so let's keep on playing against the Grixis decks. Yeah, we're playing Frang Omnipotence, which we've only drawn, well, we've drawn two games. At one time, it got Thought Razored away, but we had one game there, our very first game of the league, 
fraying omnipotence certainly won us that game. We had two of them. They were amazing. Ooh. I kind of need to shock land war elf. But then I won't be able to light up the stage. It's still just shock land war elf. You just always need to kill that thing. Get a land destruction spell in here. You can worry about light up the stage later. So they paid three life for one of the cards. Paid six life. Wow. I mean, if we if we take out like all of their life, the fraying omnipotence isn't going to be nearly as good. If like it makes me lose like twelve and them lose like three. Yeah, nothing wrong with three mana, deal six, plus draw a card. Yeah, my favorite kitchen table card from when I started playing Magic was Royal Assassin. Just anytime a cre you know, it's one BB for a one one, and it has tap, destroy target tapped creature. That was my favorite. And so like people would attack you, and you're like. Tap my Royal Assassin, kill your creature that's attacking. I guess felt like invincible with the Royal Assassin. <laughs> I was ushered out of Noomness by getting repeatedly demolished by Royal Assassin. Alright, so if we play Fraying Omnipotence, they go down to... Let's see. If we play Fraying Omnipotence, they go down to 4. We lose 9. So we go down to 8. And then, so like, we're basically dead if we do that. So we can't really do that. So let's, let's play this Sword Point Diplomacy. I'm probably not playing that Lava Runner. Love it, they're just taking another. So could go Lava Runner for a blocker here and then and light up. Or Viashino. Guess might as well go Lava Runner light up. Well darn. So many lands. All right, so we have to kill our opponent this next turn because that Yurok has lifelink, and we're gonna die to a Yurok with lifelink. So this is our only turn here. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Well, I mean, I mean, I don't get a block, but whatever. So we need to draw. Basically, any three damage burn spell or even shock, because shock with omnipotence will do it also. So, really, any burn spell in our deck, which we've only seen one, two, three, 
three. We've only drawn three burn spells so far out of 22 cards. So pretty good shot of us drawing a burn spell here. Are you kidding me? Not a burn spell. Wow, that was a bunch of really bad cards in a row there at the end. <laughs> Last turn it was land, land, lava runner, land, land, lava runner. Ugh. Well. We're casting this. Yeah, one mana off. Maybe they sacrifice your rock by accident. Darn, they didn't. If they sacrifice your rock, then they don't have a blocker. We had so many draws there. You know, our last like five cards, all we needed was any burn spell, our last like five cards. And there were no burn spells to be found. So Legion's End, Noxious Grass, Ritual of Sid, all cards that are like Maybe I, I probably should be playing Noxious Grasp. Like Noxious Grasp over Wizard's Lightning. Probably Ritual of Soot too. I think it's our deck's kind of slow, so like the decks like that that pressure us is like that can be tough. If we play those. Maybe I just take out the Lava Runners, honestly. Does mean that Wizards Light... Yeah, Lava Runner just kind of is unnecessary. And not useful. Would I rather have Legion's End than Wizards Lightning? Nah. I don't win with I don't think I win with three yeah I, I don't win with three chumpers because of Omnath triggers and them getting back like Risen Reef and stuff like like they were going to be able to I wasn't going to win with three chump blockers like they were going to be able to kill me through three chump blockers because of Omnath and Thunderkin Awakener Uh, yes, you are reading that correctly. I guess I shouldn't have played that land. So, um, just play this while it's cheap. Gonna play that land already because we could have hit lands here. Hmm. Well, hopefully we draw the land right now because that's a. Ugh. I've been really nice to be able to play bite and pyromancer. I think we're just biting. Does three, pyromancer does two. We 
have enough burn to kill them if we can play our spells before we die. Which we may not be able to. That was... Oh, that was worst case scenario. So if I do six, they go down to four, then they go up to seven. Uh, this your rock is a huge problem. All right, can we get the burn spell here? We got your rock out of there. So we have some time. We're at 26. Certainly hoping no more your rocks. No more your rock. Come on. That's another Yurok. Ugh. Lifelink's so cheating. Dak and your band. <laughs> Saying it's another shock. So you called before. Your band. You have to call three damage burn spell. And all because I, I didn't have the mana to play my Viachino Pyromancer. I need to w wait on that light at the stage. Alright, we're 2-1. and one. So, so close, both of those games. We're one mana away one the first time, one point away the second time. So, so close. <laughs> okay. Two and one, though. Let's see if we get to fraying omnipotence again. One land. Lots of lands. Bleeding blue. That's pretty cool. Nice choice of island there. Also, I like it. You know, we're certainly hoping for a slow control deck. Ooh. Well, I guess that would have been a reason to keep shock available. It's mono blue.
So obviously I want to shock this the Spectral Sailor, obviously. The problem is is I can't really afford my shock getting countered. One and two, it just uses my mana really poorly. This turn, even if it does get countered. So we're going to let them draw another card, but start getting pressure out there also. Quad pyro Pyromancer. That's what would have happened last turn. The shock dive down, but at least we, we're getting some creatures out there now. Yeah, these are the Mirage Mountains. Yeah, I'm liking these mountains too. Good, good choice of basics out on this battlefield. Always like this Dominaria Island. Feel like we're playing some Halo here. Red versus blue. Yep, that's the lesson from this update. If you want stuff later for historic, craft it now. Basically. Um, I think they said it ends, the one for one wild card redemption ends in November. At some point in November. Praying Omnipotence would be awesome if it resolves. It's like super doubtful to resolve, but if it would, that'd be really cool. It would take, you know, half the cards in hand. Much rather them use like an actual counter spell to save Sailor than a dive down. That thing only costs one mana and isn't like really doing anything else.
All right, they got us. So like they're they're just gonna they can just adapt to Terramander and we pretty dead. Yep. All those extra cards, the Curious Obsession provided. Yeah, it's probably about seven cards. Okay, we still get to cast this card. It doesn't matter, like, we're dead. I just cast, but we're casting that card as much as we can in this league. It doesn't save us, like, it makes us sacrifice our own Viachino Pyromancer, even. <laughs> Okay, let's get some more removal in for some creatures. I've always kind of liked Ritual of Soot here. So if we play Legion's End and Soot. Gosh, Frang Omnipotence is just not going to resolve at five mana, unfortunately. I have nothing really against Tempest Jin. Like if they have Tempest Jin, I'm dead. I got like nothing there. I got Ritual said. Okay. We have something. Just a little something. Okay. Mm. Well, these are our cards. Yeah, Arkbo did yeah, Arkbo did really well. Um we had just a little bit of a hole against aggro that we talked about filling up for uh, uh, fixing um, afterwards, but yeah, overall it went it went really well. Not lands. Looks like my opponent does not care about Legion's End at all. Is it better just to cast Risk Factor in that case? Obviously, Legion's End's not going to do anything, so we might as well just cast the Risk Factor and keep it in the graveyard. Okay, that's cool. I'll take three new cards, thank you. So the, they gotta be rocking dive downs over there. Best two out of three matches. Yeah, we're we're yeah, we're playing 
All best of three, so yeah, we're two and one in best of three matches so far. We're down a game here in match number four. You can see that by our opponent having a dot and us not having any dots. I wish I had more instant speed stuff to play besides just the lightning strike. I want to just pass turn here, but... I guess I can't. We know they have dive down. So let's play a card that they can't counter right now. With the Pyromancer. <laughs> Pre-constructed Demir, yep. Hey Caesar. Yeah, Rak and yeah, you're at Rakdos Omniscience. No, not going that spicy either. Hey, ugly. Now Citadel's not not a throwback card. Citadel's not rotating out. We're playing you know like basically like bulk rares and mythics that people don't use that are rotating out. That's the throwback Thursday is all about. Lich's Mastery could be one. I really played a Lich's Mastery deck. That one did have its day in the limelight for a little bit. So basically, do I want more... Alright, now on the draw, do I want more Legion's End instead of some of these other cards? So have some of these other three drops. Nah. Yeah, we're going sword point diplomacy with our in our omnipotence deck here. <laughs> Those were the days. <laughs> now today that like my posture's like gotten just just in general has gotten like a little worse from just like sitting down here like leaned over all the time in front of the computer screen like all the time that like I don't know like my my shoulders it you can keep them like rolled back more. But it's almost like, like where I think like my shoulders should be, it like feels like it like hurts almost, and like it, it's much more natural to have them forward a little bit because of how much sit forward. I don't really know what to do about that, but. Yeah, I need to do like stretches. Yeah, that does that does mean my computer is too low. I can see that, like, like sitting up, like I would want my computer screens and things up a good three, four, five inches. That is that is certainly the problem. Computer screen being too low. Um. Yeah, 
Yeah, I can see that, because I'm like crouched down here for the computer screen and everything. All right, so since that resolved, I don't really want to attack with a Lava Runner into a Trickster. If they would have countered Pyromancer, then I would have been able to attack. Great play by me. No, a chair doesn't lower. Tempest Gen so hard to beat. I need to do scapular work. Go to Amazon type posture corrector. Ritual of Soot, please. No. Hmm. I really should just be doing this during their turn. Anyway, yeah, I should just be casting that during their turn. <clears throat> it's a very slim chance that one that it resolves, and then two that if it does, that they. Or that, that then I draw like a, a spell I want to cast for the one mana. Like, if, if they let me draw. Yeah. Alright. Ritual of set time. Ugh, I thought that was it. I saw the black part of, like, the Dragon Skull Summit. You know, I was looking at the left. And it was, you know, like, the, the black border and everything. And, and just... The darkness of the card there. I got excited. We could have pulled that out if we had Ritual of Sets. We had both of them in the second game. None of the third game. Alright, so that's Rakdos Omnipotence. Good league for the deck. We'll have to say that we, we did win one game completely because of double fraying omnipotence. So that makes it all worth it. So pretty awesome to win, win a game with fraying omnipotence. Can now say that we've done that. Um, and there we go. So yeah, if uh, yeah, I already, I already talked about like the, the deck building a lot early at the beginning of the video. Um, not really too much else to say about it after those games. Deck kind of played as expected. Uh, you know, we beat the two Grixis decks against Teamer. We were so close to winning both games, but just fell a little short. We were 
Um, game one, we were either we were one mana short, but then also if our last five cards, if any of them was any burn spell, we would have won. And so we mit bricked on all five of those, so then we were one mana short. And then game two, we needed to draw a three damage burn spell, and we drew shock. So we were one point short there, game two. And then, yeah, Mono Blue is just really good. You know, like, super, like, a, a fast aggro deck with a bunch of counter spells. That's that's going to be, like, that's going to be tough for our deck to beat. Um, we're, a, we're a slower burn deck that sets up with good card advantage and everything. Um, but, yeah, so that's that's Rakdos Omnipotence. It's a successful league here on the Throwback Thursday. If you're watching on YouTube, also, don't forget to let me know. Um, obviously hit the like and subscribe buttons over there but also don't let me don't forget to let me know in the comments what other rares and mythics are rotating out that we haven't done so far that um that uh haven't really seen much standard play that you want decks built around that you want to see being played um and i'll have the you know i'll uh, choose my favorite ones there and we'll make those for next week but thanks for watching uh Rakdos Omnipotence here. Uh, also, click on over to the playlist with all the other Throwback Thursday decks, and make sure to check out Precognition, Demir, and Mono Red Cannons that we'll have here in a little bit. Thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.